man, it's just another one of those days. I'm not gonna film that much today. I'm just, you know, telling you that now for a few reasons. One, I decided, I tweeted this yesterday, but I decided that on the weekends, you guys would get one vlog for both Saturday and Sunday. So it'd just be like a, a collective video for both days, just because I want to have a little bit of a break on the weekends because it is, you know, really difficult. And I just feel like at this point I'm at quantity over quality and I don't really like that, but unfortunately that's what we got to do this month. Um, obviously main, main channel quality takes priority over vlog channel and uh, American Horror Story reviews. So it doesn't leave a lot of quality left for you guys, but hopefully you're okay with these chill, not really edited vlogs. Uh, right now I'm gonna head over to storage because I need to put all this stuff away. I have like this, these boxes, those boxes. I have camping gear in here. Um, basically these are just like the Halloween boxes and some decor that I didn't use in my house and it's just sitting in the living room. So I'm gonna put them in storage for a couple weeks and then at the end of October, first week November, I'll go and retrieve them again. And yeah, I hate that I have a storage unit. Hello, at my age, but it's actually really handy, not gonna lie. So it's also very full, but I have a smaller storage unit. And we're gonna keep it that way. I used to have two when I had to move back in with my parents. Um, I had to put all my stuff in two storage units, but um, we're, we're back down to one, so we're good. We're doing good. And then after storage, I need to clear clear my car out because I'm gonna be helping my mom move. Um, Bill is working today, so it's just gonna be me and my mom packing. And then I asked her, you know, do you wanna do like a trip or two in my car? And she said probably, so I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'll try to vlog what I can you know, chilling with my mom, also wearing the same shirt that I slept in today. I've just been feeling so weird and off lately, and it's just, been, I tried to read a self-help book today. I read that for my 30 minutes, which I did do meditation and reading today, so we're good there. At least I did those things, and I feel productive there, but I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really had much of an appetite either. Like, I haven't been eating that much. Um, I'm eating, like, enough. It's just a lot less than what I normally eat. Um, I don't eat like a ton of food usually, but I'm just eating less than what I normally eat. I don't know, it's just, I can't eat a lot. Like this morning I made my quesadilla, my morning quesadilla, only ate half, so that's weird for me. Anyway, let's head over to storage and uh, put this stuff away. This is Otto. You guys might remember him. He only has one ear. That's a good boy. He's old. He's a senior kitty. I just got to my new parents' house. Or my new parents. My parents' new house. Oh, a little girl. <laughs> yes, they have a garage. They have a cute fireplace, hardwood. They'll probably love this shelf. Yeah, this shelf. Like, it's, it's like a tool shelf. Tools. Yeah. Is that recording? You don't have to be on it. Oh, no, I don't care. Okay. I'll gladly be in it. Okay, this is Alyssa, guys. It's got a real box. There's one out front, too. Yeah, just go like this. It's not very sturdy as a workbench. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it comes with cabinet space. Well, that's pantry and linen. linen. And well, linen, yeah. Mix and but space. Yes, it's lovely. You guys, I have had a day. It's been a wild ride. It still doesn't even feel real. Like, this is just such a weird thing. So while I was at my parents' house, their new place, and like unpacking and like moving them in and stuff, um, we were just kind of like chilling. So I decided to check my email 
and I get an email from Shane Dawson. He had said, at first I didn't even believe it was him, to be honest, I was like, okay, but in the email, I'm like holding a cat toy because I'm nervous. <laughs> in the email, he was like, I DM'd you on Instagram first, but just in case you check this more often, I thought I'd email you. So I go to my Instagram, and sure enough, it's from his verified Instagram account. He had messaged me, so I respond back to the email, so I'm not gonna like talk about what we talked about, but basically he wanted to get my feedback on part five. I'm also in part five, apparently. It's just like a clip of me, which he's used a clip of my videos before, um, but this is like me actually talking. And of course it happens to be the clip where, I'm sorry, this is, I'm laughing so much cause it's just like weird. Like what is my life? Um, he used the clip of me in Halloween makeup. Like I'm wearing the Gerard Way look. And so it just looks like, like who is that person why does she look like that is she okay <laughs> anyway i just think it's funny that he used that clip um obviously it was like weird because in the moment i was like should i wash this off nah we'll be fine whatever didn't think anything of it and then sure enough it ends up in a shane dawson video anyway shane was so sweet we ended up i ended up giving him my number and texting he wanted to facetime originally and like talk on the phone or something but i'm just super socially awkward i said i would but and that i'm open to it whatever's easiest but i ended up just texting him everything and then he would send me voice memos and stuff it was just amazing <laughs> shane is the sweetest person ever and just so understanding and the fact that he would reach out to me and like hear me out tells me that his heart is truly in the right place in this series and he really has good intentions that he was opening himself up to my criticism which i did give him criticism by the way guys i was not starstruck enough to not be honest with him i told him everything that i saw that i thought was wrong <laughs> which granted that puts a lot of pressure on me because then i'm the voice to like speak out about anything but obviously he's his own person he's going to make whatever decisions he's going to make about his video so I don't want to like you know be responsible if there are things in it um I voiced all of my concerns though just up front just very factual like here's what I think so that was my day when I was at my parents I was like oh my god like I just said that out loud and then I had explained my mom who Shane Dawson was and like I'd already talked to her about the series beforehand and I'm like you know that one where um he's doing a video on like someone being a sociopath yeah that guy so we'll see what happens in the series and like what advice he takes of mine and like I don't know we shall see. All right, guys, I just got a package in the mail. I thought I would open it. It's only been like 20 minutes since the last clip, but they dropped off my Lucky Vitamin package. I order something, not sponsored by the way, <laughs> wish it was, wish they'd give me some credit, um, but I order from them at least once a month. I spend a lot of money on their website. I'm gonna be honest with you guys that if you wanted to know what I spent my money on now that I don't buy fast fashion, vegan beef jerky. I'm not even kidding. Wait till you see how many things of beef jerky I ordered. First, we're gonna start with something that is my new obsession. It's really weird because I did a taste test of these a long time ago on my main channel. I was like trying vegan snacks and I didn't like them, which is so weird to me because now I like crave them. And granted, I could make these, but there's just something about the way these are preserved in the bags that taste so weird and good. I don't They're know. They're the Rhythm Superfoods kale chips. They do sell these at Walmart. I think Lucky Vitamin, though, one of their perks is that it's like cheaper on their website by like a couple cents. Um, so I got two garlic and onion bags, and then I think I only got one Cool Ranch. No, I got three. I think it was back ordered though, so I think I'm getting a second package with two more of these. I'm trying to collect all of the uh, primal strips here, excuse me. So this is how many I ordered for the vegan jerky. This is one of my favorite brands, primal strips. This is the only good flavor in my opinion. The Texas barbecue is okay, but this flavor, the hickory smoked with made of soy is the best flavor, obviously, because I buy a lot of it every time. Just like, I can't explain it. I don't eat this much soy. Actually, I do eat that much soy. I was totally gonna lie to you guys. Oh my God. I was gonna say I don't eat that much. Actually, I ordered a lot more than I normally do this time on purpose because I don't want to eat that much and I wanted to make it last for two months. So let's see if we can do that. And then I ordered two of the Louisville vegan jerky bags because this is another favorite. They're pretty much tied. That's why I order both every time because I love them both so much. It really depends on what I'm craving at the moment. Oh, it's getting really dark all of a sudden. <laughs> so I got the maple bacon jerky and the smoked black pepper. I haven't had this flavor in a really long time. I usually just get the maple bacon. It's probably my favorite out of all the flavors. You can buy this at Whole Foods and like natural food stores, by the way. 
the main reason why I order so many of these online is because Whole Foods stopped carrying it. This, they used to have this at Whole Foods. My local Whole Foods stopped carrying it and I like want to write a letter because I'm so passionate about primal strips. Anyway, that's my snack haul. Was that exciting? Probably not. All right, it's day two of helping my parents move. We're just packing away. I'm finally convincing her to throw away my sculptures that I made in school. I don't know what grade this was. She's keeping three of them. I'll show you one of them because I'm proud of my Stephen King tribute that I did, even though it's broken, but oh, the rain stick. Anyway, Otto's just chilling, you know, taking his time, enjoying the view of us packing. Oh. So are you like documenting this for videos or just documenting it? Well, it's Vlogtober. Oh. So I vlog every single day oh, well then. in the month of October. That's cool. So it's a lot of work, but it's fun. They yeah. get to see my personal life. I've got so much packing and moving to do. This is my old room, guys. I don't know if you remember. This is what it looks like now. Full of crap. Sorry, Mom. But that's the old futon I used to sleep on. Good times. Good memories here. I lived like three... No, two years, two and a half years here. Trains outside my window. And now we're officially saying goodbye to it because they're moving. And like I said, goodbye already because I didn't live here, but now it's goodbye forever. And that's kind of sad. Man, I feel like in every clip I have really horrible lighting and it's like making me look really bad. Like, what is this? All right, guys. So I'm ending the vlog here. I've edited it up until this point, actually, and it's kind of a hot mess kind of all over the place, kind of boring, but this is my life. This was my weekend. So I hope you enjoyed this weekend's vlog. I still think it's hilarious, this whole Shane Dawson thing, because I tweeted about it saying that I never thought I'd ever be adding Shane Dawson as a contact in my phone. And that blew up, um, I think because Shane liked it and then it like probably posted on his profile, but a lot of people liked it. And then a lot of people are suspecting like collabs and like, a series and stuff like that, which it's not that deep, guys. Um, but I do want to ask you something. If you want me to respond at all to tomorrow's part of the series, because one, I'm in it for like a brief second. Two, I actually gave feedback on the first seven minutes of this video. So I'm not sure how he ended up actually editing it. So I'm actually really curious to see what he did with it. So I don't know if you'd want to hear my thoughts and like what feedback I gave him and what advice he took and didn't take. I don't know. I think he'd be chill with that. I would just be sharing what I said in my half of the conversation to him and like the things that I pointed out to him. Um, let me know if you'd want to see that. I know I said I wouldn't talk about the series as much in my vlogs anymore, but um, yeah, it's just, it, it escalated so much. I didn't think I would be talking to Shane about his next video. Like, so obviously I wasn't anticipating to be involved at all in this. So since that is a new thing, maybe you'd want to see me react to the video or at least give my thoughts after I watch it. But I'm very excited, very eager to see tomorrow's part. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed today's or the last two days vlog and I will talk to you tomorrow.